Hi, I'm Roberta. Welcome to my garden. I'm here today with my friend Soma Sivriolu, Hoshkeldeniz. Hoshkeldeniz. And sharing a raki in the garden to talk about Turkish food. What a big subject, what a big country. It's a huge country and it's quite varietal and really? regional. Uh, seven different regions and what you find in Black Sea you don't find it in the southeast of Turkey. So different. It is. So I mean you go to southeast and it's all about the lamb kebabs, you know, abundance of um, legumes and kebabs and baklava, so quite heavy and stodgy, mm -hmm. you know. And in but, the north? Uh, but in the north, then it's totally different. It's all greens, small fish, um, you know, lots of little nuts, um, so it's, it's quite nutritious and it's quite different. And then you have the Aegean coast, which would be different again. Then you have the Aegean coast that is all about um, olive oil ah. and olive oil poaching, an yeah, important part of our culture. Um, different types of vegetables. Then you go to uh, Mediterranean, almost tropical. Any any type of fruit you can just grow it in that. So it's a very lucky country in that sense. So what are some of the key ingredients that cut across all of the regions? What are the fundamentals of Turkish food? Yeah, I mean, really, like olive oil and butter divides the country in half. Just like so, Italy. Yeah. So um, so it's pretty much on the east. It's all about butter and like animal products and on the west it's all about vegetable and olive oil but there are some unifying things like the onions garlic uh, peppers parsley they're all fundamental parts of turkish cuisine you start cooking any dish by just roasting the garlic like frying the garlic and we're going to see that this month for yes. sure now you have just opened two new restaurants and i love it because they, they cover the whole of Turkish cuisine between them. Maybe. So one is dedicated to kebabs, which is pretty obvious when we think of Turkish food. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. everyone thinks of kebabs. What's that one called? Uh, that one is called tommy. Is that the bread? That's the bread. That's the fat bread that the donut kebab goes in. Oh, can't wait to eat that. And the other one's even more exciting because it's about the lesser known dishes. It is. It's about our vegetable, vegetarian. Not vegetarian, but ve it's about our vegetable culture and cooking with olive oil, poaching, really gentle type of cooking. Now the olive oil poaching, Imam Bayildi is the famous dish for that, isn't Probably it? Probably the most famous. I Turkish think it's the one dish, we yeah. know of here. Yeah. And that's slow poached in olive oil. And that's a popular way of cooking? It's a very popular way of cooking and it's quite an interesting way of cooking as well because you put a, you add a bit of water, a bit of sugar. So, you know, it's a very gentle way of cooking. And I would think like most traditional cuisines, Turkish food would have grown up around the vegetables and the legumes. Mm. Meat tended to play a supporting role, didn't it? Very much, especially in the peasant cuisine. Yeah. So meat is always there to flavor the flavor the dish because it's not as bountiful as vegetables, and especially in winter when it's called the legumes. So there's a lot of preparation, getting ready for winter, having all those dried legumes, and you just put a bit of meat with the bone, and it just creates a delicious Always dish. on the bone, right? Always on the bone. Okay. So, onion, garlic, peppers. What else makes Turkish food Turkish? What, what is it about the Turkish table? I think it's, I mean, what makes the food, the unsung heroes of our food is that motherly love, that hospitable culture. Yes. Um, you know, the welcoming guests into your house, smiling people, happy people, uh, people that, are, that know to create something out of nothing or very limited resources. Yes. They create excellent dishes from very limited number of resources. And always share whatever little and they have. Always share whatever they have. It's true. Um, I spent time traveling through Turkey three months and the greeting of Hoşgel Deniz, I bid you welcome, was whether we were walking into a fancy house, walking into a village hut. I remember once walking through the tea plantations and the ladies that were picking the tea Fade us yeah, exactly. So it is a very hospitable culture, and you are very kind to give us your time to be Thank our you. expert guide. Teşekkür ederim. And how do we say cheers? Şerefe. Şerefe, that's right. Şerefe, enjoy our month of Turkish. Thank you.